What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jim Mint. And I was thinking about something the other day on how we as collectors, our focus tends to change. We're always collectors, but sometimes we collect different things. Sometimes we get out of collecting stuff. I think I was in the arcade and I realized I haven't really bought an arcade one up in a while. I don't think I'm really collecting those anymore. I'm still collecting the omnibus stuff, but the statues, I've slowed down, although I'm pretty excited about what's coming out this year. I think there's going to be a lot more statue reviews in 2024. But it got me thinking, like, what is everybody else collecting these days? I mean, we all can't be just collecting the same thing. I'm sure people have switched gears and moved into other hobbies. So I posed this question in our Facebook uh, group, Geminites, and we're going to go over the answers today. Before we do, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification if you want to see more videos. And uh, yeah, here's my post. So what's everyone collecting these days? So some of these are joke <laughs> responses, but there probably are some good ones in there that I might be like, huh, maybe I should take a look into that. All right, so we say uh, Jeffrey Zoni, Omnis that cover the 60s and the 70s, man. So I like the focus in the omnibus category. Uh, Steven is interested in the new Darkness Volume 3 Kickstarter. Love the Darkness, one of my favorites for sure. Been collecting the Spawn trade paperback volumes as well. I'm definitely still collecting the Spawn Deluxe Editions. I think Volume 7 is coming out soon, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Jeremy says he's loving the Universal Monsters line of books. Looking forward to the creature from the Black Lagoon lives. So I read the four-issue Dracula series. was pretty good. Where can I find them? Yeah, exactly. Dracula is the only one out so far. Four issues. Dracula was good. I think it's by Image, right? <laughs> the Skulls of My Enemies. Okay. Christian ain't collecting ish. Guns and ammo. Getting ready, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm not mad at you. I definitely have mine still. Uh, Marvel slash DC statues and Spidey omnibus. Cool, sounds good. Gains, yo, I've been back in the gym. Yo, I fell off. I hadn't been in the gym since like July of last year. Lost muscle, put on weight, not feeling good. But actually, yesterday has been one month for me, not on a diet, but eating clean, eating healthy, and back in the gym. You know, I'm feeling my confidence is getting back up, y'all. Feeling great. Yo, shout out Adarsh. He's collecting Pokemon and Lorcana. I don't know what Lorcana is. Pokemon, man. I've been tempted to get into the Pokemon cards, but that's like a deep rabbit hole. <laughs> All right, so Zach Flores, ma uh, manga at the moment, Fist of the North Star, JoJo, and major titles for me. I've been kind of wanting to get back into manga recently. Somebody commented on my Fist of the North Star video yesterday. I saw it on the notification. I got to check out the comment, though. Jason says, reading digitally, collecting, uh, playing video games, some figs, if they're what I like and if they're cheap. This pick was a $45 pickup at uh, his local Ollie's. If I click on the picture, it's going to mess up the order of the comments. But... Yo, I've been collecting platinum trophies once again. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have been a huge platinum trophy collector since like 2012. And um, I kind of fell off as I was growing the channel, but I've been back on my grind. This Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Platinum note is really kicking my ass. Those damn brutal uh, battle intel missions are killing me. Tim O'Brien says saving up for a car, so nothing for about six months. Yo, I remember when I was saving up to buy this house. And not even that uh, I was saving up, but you don't really want to make big purchases when you're trying to apply for a loan or what have you. So I remember those days not being able to spend. Uh, Joshua still buying singles, but only for things I really like. Ultimate Spider-Man and Gods currently. I don't know what Gods is all about. Ultimate Spider-Man. I hope you got that issue one. That issue blew up, right? Yo, Symbiote Spider-Man issue one was dope, and I swear that's got to be a cameo first appearance. I mean, I've never been good at, like, pointing those things out, but that's the first time we saw Miguel O'Hara as a Symbiote Spider-Man 2099. Look at this, Jason also, lately, single issues and CGC signature series, along with some statues, mainly the PCS TMNT line, slowed down on the Omni front, uh, but besides the TMNT IDW hardcovers. That's funny, I slowed down on the statues, but still going hard with the Omnibus stuff. I can't get back into uh, C CGC stuff, man. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Talk about rabbit holes. Uh, Eduardo says, across the board, Star Wars novels, Omnis, helmets, lightsabers, Legos, uh, and toys. Oh, and also, I was going to mention with toys, I had been really tempted to pick up like that first wave from the X-Men 97 action figures. I really wish I would have. I saw them when I was in Singapore. I'm pretty sure that was before they were released in the States, too. 
But um, I don't know. It's probably hard to track them all down now. Or maybe they're pretty evergreen. I don't know. I, yeah, I see a lot of people collecting lightsabers. Never really my thing. Helmets is dope. NFL helmets. I could see uh, people collecting that. I'm not huge into following teams. Like, I like sports, but I, I don't really follow teams like that. But uh, I always thought, like, professional helmets were, were cool. Micaiah, single issues, omnibus. Uh, I said that weird. Omnibus, arcades slash video games, posters, shirts, and records. That's dope. My daughter's collecting records and CDs. Uh, shirts, I kind of collect shirts. Like, I got me a new, look, Spidey and Doppelganger bootleg. I kind of been on my shirt grind again, but I actually purged all my old shirts. I'm like, yo, I'm kind of sick of those. Let's out with the old and with the new. So uh, I got some new shirts. Yo, culturekings.com, not, not a sponsor, but uh, that's where I be getting like those new X-Men tees and everything. This one was off IG though, bootleg. This video is brought to you by Ninja Funk Bad Music number one. Following the battle at Ninja Funk Dojo and the capture of BB, Bad Music retreats to their headquarters at the Nexus. With the love of Laser Wolf's life as irresistible bait, there's no doubt in Queen Bad's mind that her nemesis will come knocking and she's ready for him. Will Laser Wolf, JPG McFly, and Wolfgang see the trap for what it is or run headlong into disaster? Find out in Ninja Funk Bad Music number one in stores April 17th. Kenneth J, Omnis and Deluxes, uh, but with many custom books designed by me and custom dust jackets, been slowly building my collection to be exactly the stories that I want and I get to design the customs too. This has really invested me in the hobby and what books matter to me. It's almost a completely bespoke, unique collection that only exists in my house. It's a good feeling. Yo, that's dope. I had a lot of custom Omnis, but I got out of that because I was like, this is like a never ending rabbit hole. Now you really can't collect everything because there's all these one offs and everything. But that's just me as like a completionist type of collector. Uh, you have the unique library to you. That's dope. Ed Loot, uh, he's out here trading OOP Omnis in the group, man. If you guys are uh, trustworthy members. Marvel and DC Omnibus. Speaking of which, the Amalgam Omnibus is coming out. Cannot wait, man. Uh, Lobo the Duck, Darkwing, all that stuff. Spider Boy, the original Spider Boy. Also looking forward to the Image, G.I. Joe, and Transformer compendiums. I hear that. Seth, Cemetery Elmi, mostly manga, some Omni, some oversized hardcovers and deluxes. Our group, I think, is like primarily omnibus collectors, but a lot of people that collect everything, like, like, like myself. Uh, Steve, per, uh, Parillo, Parillo, Parillo. St uh, Scott Snyder, Justice League run, Spider-Man 2099, all Peter David runs. So single issues, that's cool. Mostly manga and image singles. Stamps. Yo, you know what I always thought was cool? Collecting paper money. Like CGC, like their parent company is really like um, a money grading company. Coins and paper bills. Like seeing those old paper bills that have like different designs on it. I always thought that was cool. And we have an antique store near our house that we go to. My daughter actually goes there like every weekend with, with Fee. But uh, they be having some of those old bills sometimes. Jordan Mom. Knives somewhat. Uh, more so EDC comics like Omnis and Collected Editions, but running out of shelf space and not expanding. Video games only physical with Nintendo looking in uh, looking into an iPad whoop, for continued comic enjoyment. I could see myself going down the video game path. I think I'm going to steer clear. I do have a small collection of just games that I like from PS3, PS4, PS5, but I don't, retro games, I don't really want to dive into that rabbit hole. Replica helmets and other props. That's cool. Still Omnis. Joshua says has a couple Naruto statues coming in, trying to slow down uh, the collecting to enjoy what I have more. Yeah, always chasing that next thing. I'm guilty of that. Like not enjoying what you have because you're just so worried about what's coming out. Sam Olson just completed uh, his Swamp Thing collection, picking up a House of Secrets 92 first appearance. Now moving into the Man Thing omnibus. I also have acquired a Spawn Deluxe Oversized Volume 6 and newer Spawn Family Trade paperbacks like Gunslinger, King Spawn, and Scorched. I liked Gunslinger a lot. I haven't been keeping up with it. I'm kind of kicking myself for not reading Spawn 350 recently. Christopher Mason, NECA TMNT. Easy rabbit hole to go down. Great stuff. Uh, Shia or Shaya Lynch filling out an X-Men oversized hardcover and Omni collection nearly there. Oh, wait, they just announced another half a dozen Omnis. What did they announce? I need to know. I don't keep up with that stuff. Uh, Power Rangers by Shout Factory pricey DVD box sets. That's pretty cool. 
Clint Bird, absolutes, any storyline, Batman, Omnis, anything, Hellboy that's not in the collection, and I'd like to start collecting some Superman and Star Wars as well. What's funny about absolutes, I'm actually planning to do a video with Jake from Brave and the Boys on every absolute edition ever, because he made this video on his top 10 uh, favorites, and I saw somebody comment, like, aren't there only like 10 absolutes? And he replied, there's 57. I was like, damn, we should make a video discussing all of them. So we're actually working on that right now. Shout out to Jake. Uh, Taylor Boba just scooped a Vagabond set. I read the first volume. I did enjoy it. I should get back into that. Always cool seeing these in other people's collections. It's a masterpiece. Kenneth J. giving that seal of approval. Dana says Marvel Comics and some statues and Mezco figures. I always see Mezco, but I've never owned one of their figures, and I couldn't really tell you or point one out. I just I always hear of that company. Uh, Lego and Funko with a side of guns. Alex says, I'm still a huge comic book fan, but I just don't have time for the hobby anymore and mainly collect movies now with some movie memorabilia. Physical media is going to go up because these streaming services pulling titles that you already paid for and you're not able to watch them anymore, which is actually a good thing for collectors. I mean, like again, physical media for sure. Tanner says, any oversized hardcover that's not an absolute, so Omnis, Deluxe Editions, and Image OHCs. That's kind of where I was at, man, because I was double dipping so much with absolutes and omnis, and then I was running out of space at the time. But again, when I moved and now I have more space, I kind of regret selling those. Recently started collecting some cheaper statues as well, below the $150 price point. Good to set a limit. Ryan Newton says, I am collecting debt from the comments. Looks like I'm not alone. Omnis and video games, physical media all the way, just like I was saying. Don't be collecting that debt, y'all. I just got the Invincible ultimate collection full set so that's the original ohc's that's how i read the majority of invincible actually i think i read the first three library editions and at the time that's all that were printed and i had to finish the rest off with those miles omnis oversized hardcovers regular hardcovers and also some marvel epic collection books yo that's just like my man uh cartel from hell mike lee actually been uh chopping it up with him recently and he's reading like a ton of omnis collecting a ton of them as well and he also mentioned yo i, I grab those epics and i bring them to work to read so shout out to uh, cartel all his cartelians out there elon mir lieberman mainly marvel omnis and action figures the number one answer is bills you're welcome i feel like i might have done this video before now that i think about that but consider it an updated one version Luis Hernandez still going strong with collected editions omnis absolutes epics and compendiums uh Theodore says statues heavy ones so again I don't want to click on the picture because um again it'll throw off the comments but it looks like this is a heavy bronze statue I, you know, shout, shout out to Theodore I know he's got exquisite taste Jasso don't at everyone me bro he's mad because he thought it was a personal at <laughs> Shout out to the Jassos. Uh, Jason Neal, vinyl records and some manga. Stopped adding Omnis and I'm doing much less manga because I'm not reading as much at the moment, so I just can't justify it. Don't be reasonable. <laughs> I also stopped getting statues because I'm pretty much out of space. Might downsize. You know, I'm all about it. When my collection gets too big or I have like, I feel like too much money in the collection, that's when I start getting antsy. Like, I don't really like the feeling of having so much to lose if that makes sense so i always like to purge it out every now and then plus there's always new stuff coming out uh although it's been tough on the aftermarket but i think i want to make a video on that because i have been selling statues recently and i've been finding a lot of success so i was thinking about like sharing my tips with you guys or with anybody who might care guns knives ammos and watches david is ready christian bowman mostly reading stuff and reselling but keeping it if it's something special. Also, keeping all Batman stories that are great to collect a recommended reading run of Batman. Unrelated books are whiskey. Oh, unrelated to books are whiskey and old NES games. <laughs> Collecting white goatee hairs. Yo, me too, man. In the last two years, my little goat, my little, <laughs> I don't want to call it a beard, but my little chin hairs have been going gray. My temples on the, on the back right here, wherever you're supposed to kind of get taped up. It's getting gray, man. What's going on? Jacob says, mainly symbiotic related readings. A shout out to the symbiotes. Trying to get caught up on the latest Venom Omni. Strands of hair from the women I date. It's giving Dennis Reynolds. <laughs> uh, Robert says, I started collecting statues in February and gone full-blown addict. That's how it goes, man. Got 14 in the last month and a half. And I'm a fiend for those polystone rocks. Oh, my God. There's six replies. And I'm scared to read them. All right. 
Oh, okay, just on statue. So he's got the Grim Knight. He's got Taskmaster, Spidey PF, Old School Doom, recent uh, Daniel Bell, Silver Surfer, Sideshow Batman, and Superman. He's got Lobo and Bane. So mostly collecting Sideshow. Looks like Tweeter Head right here. And this looks like, I don't know if it's a hot toy or what have you. That's how it goes. When you first get into the statue hobby, and for me with the omnibus stuff, immediately full-blown maniac mode and overspending, overbuying. And usually you'll you'll wean your focus in and be like, you know what, I don't, I can't collect everything. Let's let's just stick to Sideshow PFs or let's just stick to Marvel, whatever. Caleb says, anything Ghost Rider, mainly Danny Ketch and Midnight Suns related single series, uh, single issues, plus any trades or collected editions related to that era. I'm super stoked and hyped for the Danny Ketch Omnibus. Ghost Rider Masterworks, outside of that, Moon Knight Omnis and any collected editions that are not in Omni form. Uh, Cosmic Saga Omnis, Just Red Realm of Kings, skipped Annihilation, but may grab it sometime and catch up on the pre-Conquest stuff. I liked Annihilation, and I liked Conquest. Current runs of Ghost Rider and Moon Knight, and can't wait for the Blood Hunt event. Shout out to uh, Caleb, man. Got that focus. He's focused in, y'all. Doug says, I've kind of hit that point where I walk into a comic shop and have um, already almost everything I want to read. Some of the new DC announcements have me hyped, though. Statues and comic books. Norbert says, besides comic collected editions, I buy some exclusive singles for cover art. I also uh, bought a lot of t uh, childhood toys because all of mine were thrown away by my parents. It's a very common story. Uh, so I bought a couple of 30-year-old G.I. Joes, Transformers, and bought old Legos I had, plus a couple of new ones. I could see myself doing that, man. I had early Gen, you know, Gen 1 Transformers, the initial TMNT stuff. I'm always tempted to even get the reprints or the re-releases of the TMNT classic stuff when I happen to walk into like a Walmart or something. Collecting pollen mostly. Uh, some old keys I previously own. Good time to buy keys right now. Market is down. Plan on some trade paperbacks or maybe alien, uh, an alien Omni this year. <laughs> trying to collect money so you could buy omnis yeah see i read some of these derek shout out to d rock bills <laughs> collecting bills got a life-size bus coming in tomorrow though which one which did you get claw says omnis a few selected dc hardcovers and knives a couple knife collectors man jim says nothing really actually trying to sell off but everybody wants omnis not trade paperbacks or floppies and they want whales and high demand stuff not mainstream or indie stuff interesting Jason Duncan, mostly manga, been slowing down for financial reasons, though. Uh, Devin says, mostly purging at the moment, trying to curate the collection. It's like a piece of clay, the collection. You got to mold it. You got to form it to what you want it to be. Yo, I'm all about that. Love that answer, actually. Cosplays. Okay. Terrell Young doing the cosplay scene. Mike Lupicia, or is it Lupica? Still statues, though not nearly as many, and a couple of Omnis and other novels here and there. Hot Toys, I never got into Hot Toys. I had one, a quarter scale Iron Man one, but that was it. <laughs> yes, yeah, these are ones that I happen to just see. Omnis in debt, board games. Yo, Fee would love that answer, actually. Kind of not really collect puzzles, but we buy puzzles every now and then, and we'll do puzzles as a family. Joshua Bueller says vintage Pokemon cards. Andrew Stevens III just started collecting pocket watches. At 27, I didn't think I'd be into pocket watches, but here I am. Clinton says... He's got quite a few himself, mostly American, all mechanical, mostly railroad grade. Uh, one is a small pennant that was my grandma's from the late 19th century. Okay, little pocket watcher, collect, pocket, pocket watch collectors. Not that you're pocket watching. Rob Goswell says vinyl records and floppies. We got omnis and some statues, single issues, and my favorite stories in oversized hardcover or absolute format. I uh, just got the run of Amazing Adventures Volume 1 with the origin story of the Beast. Gotcha. Saul says, uh, Marvel Omnis, Batman Omnis, Spawn Deluxe Editions. I still collect music CDs, but thinking about collect, uh, getting back into collecting Blu-ray movies as well. Yeah, again, with that, with the streaming services, pulling movies, that physical media is going to be more important. Alfredo says, honestly, just collecting whatever I want. Not a completionist, but if I like something enough, I'll try to get what I can from it. Mainly Omnis. Okay, here goes Clint. I saw him on a couple of replies, but absolutes, deluxe slash library editions and Omnis. Other hobbies, custom knives, mechanical timepieces, a uh, and rare cigars along with humidors and fancy lighters. All right, I can see myself getting to that. I had a cigar phase, if you guys remember, if you guys have been here since the early days of the channel. 
Alan Pierce says, feels like I'm collecting boxes. If you're a statue collector, you are also a box collector. Dan Morton says, still firmly on the comics and Funko Pop trains. Everything else has slimmed lately. And then Jay Rock says, waiting on the Road to Onslaught, Wolverine Volume 4. Isn't Volume 4 out already? X-Men 2099 and Spider-Man 2099 Volume 2. Yeah, I heard that. Ghost Rider 2099 has an omnibus announced. Hella looking forward to that. <laughs> Pun intended. And 90s Ghost Rider, which is a Danny Ketch stuff. Man, this was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. A lot of people still into the Omnibus game, but again, that's kind of like the majority of the group. But interesting to see what else everybody is collecting. Again, that physical media thing that's going to become more and more popular, I think. What are you guys collecting? What are you collecting these days? Are you still collecting the same stuff as when you started? Are you still collecting comics, Omnibus, statues? Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you watching and stay minty fresh. Peace.